Welcome to Electra Online, and here's another very interesting problem that really lends itself to the use of the law of cosines. So let's say we have a harbor. Two ships leave the harbor at the same time, one moving at 20 miles per hour, the other one moving at 30 miles per hour. This one moving at an angle of 45 degrees relative to the, uh, I would say, you know, perpendicular to the beach or to the harbor, and the other one at a 60 degree angle in the opposite direction relative to the perpendicular to the beach. How far apart are they? after two hours. So what we're going to do first is simply find out how far apart they are after one hour and then simply double the number. That makes it easy. So uh, what we need is of course we want to label the sides and since we're looking for this and we have the equation written as a square equals b square plus c square, let's call this side a, let's call this side b, and let's call this side c. That makes this angle right here angle a and of course in our equation we have angle A so that works out quite well and then finally instead of writing miles per hour after one hour uh, the distance would be 20 miles and 30 miles so those are just distances and so now we can use the law of cosine to figure it out alright so we end up with A squared or better yet let's just right away go to A A is equal to the square root of B squared plus C squared minus 2bc times the cosine of the angle a. Plug in the numbers, let's see what we get. So b is going to be 20, square that, plus c is 30, we square that, minus 2 times b, which is 20, c is 30, times the cosine of the angle a, and we add the two together, that would be 105 degrees. All right, let's see what our calculator can do for us. So we have a 400 plus 900 minus the quantity 2 times 20 times 30 times 105, take the cosine of that, close parentheses, equals, and then we take the square root, and we get hmm, 40.1 miles. So A would be 40.1 miles. And of course, D after two hours, so D equals two times A, right? Because it's now going to be after two hours, which is equal to two times 40.1 miles, or after two hours, it'll be at a distance of 80.2 miles apart. And see how nice the law of cosine is for problems like that. And that's how we do that.